everybody. Hello. Welcome to Strings Attached, our mother-daughter knitting and all things string podcast. Yes, I'm yes. Mallory. I'm Frida. <laughs> I'm the daughter. I'm the mom. <laughs> Mamma. <laughs> and if you haven't been with us before, it's um, a podcast about what we're knitting, the yarn we use, um, and also what we're crocheting, what we're sewing, sewing. and <laughs> what we're baking. And oh, yeah. yeah. All kinds of stuff. Just us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So hope you enjoy. Um, today um, I have a couple of small FOs and mom has a couple big FOs. So I guess mom, you can go first. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> the first one is my sweater. It's called the Cascades Tea and I don't remember. We have to put it in the Emily Ken Kentish. Ken okay. Ten I don't know how to say her last name. Kentig? Okay. I don't know. I'll put it down there. <laughs> anyway, it's all done. It's a, um, a knit picks pattern. And it's a cotton blend, I think. This is Kotlin. It picks Kotlin. Cotton, Turn around more so I can see the Oh, that's so pretty. You did such a good, nice job on that, Mom. It's just a little big. It's a little big on her. So I think I might try to wash it and dry it. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be like fitted. No, but it's, I don't know. I feel frumpy. Yeah. I think wash it and dry it since it's cotton. And, you'll... and it's plenty long. It yeah. wouldn't hurt if it even shrunk up a yeah. little bit. That'd be okay. You did a nice job though. Had the mattress stitch go on the side. It looks good. Yeah, I did okay. Yeah, you did good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see it, but it's it's nice. It's you know, barely there. It's okay. Looks good. I, one reason it kept me from getting it done is because I was dreading doing the mattress <laughs> stitch. Yeah. Because the only thing left after that was just these little and there's just these little cap cap things. Yeah. It looks really nice. Yeah. Because it is wide, so they come. It kind of hits the shoulder. You know. Mm -hmm. Kind of and slow. that was the Kotlin and the Cyan, I think is what that was called. Yeah, I think so. Picks. Really nice yarn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the yarn. Yeah, I want to I wanna make something out of that one these days. I wonder how that would make up into an autumn leg. <laughs> Probably good. I Although, it, would. it might, it might be, be the same way. It might be thick. Yeah. Although, the autumn leg was, you could make the smaller size and use the bigger yarn and it'd still be fine. Because the autumn leg was a really oversized sweatshirt type yeah. sweater anyway. But anyway, it, it worked up nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, and then I finished this. It was on my last the last episode. I had this little sweater going. So cute. And I used um, when I used the needles. It said and it's called the uh, neck down, children's neck down, neck down cardigan or something like that. It's a very simple name. It's um, knitting pure and simple pattern. Yeah. So anyway, I, I ran out of yarn. <laughs> so I had enough sense to. I made the sleeves a little shorter than maybe they should have been. Mm, well, not too much. And then yeah. Mallory gave me this pink yarn, and I put those on the cuffs. Which I found that pink yarn was a pretty thick worsted yeah. acrylic. And that was this. This yarn was, I guess, the next weight up would be. Like it was Aaron. considered worsted. Yeah. But like, if you bought it that, it was from, a heavy worsted. I was gonna say, if you bought that from like Cascade or something, that would be like an Aaron. Yeah. Yarn. So anyway, it made it up bigger cute. than I thought. And I put it around the bottom, up the sides. And I haven't got any buttons yet. I, I bought some white buttons that didn't look good. So I've got to come up with some buttons. I didn't see any at Joanne's. I like. And then I put this little, Mallory said, put that pico around the edge to make that look like it blends in with the pink. No, you came up with the pico, didn't you? I thought, no, you said you ought to put some pico. Somewhere. Do that all the time. You said you ought to put some pico on it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I did. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it blends the pink border all together. It's really a wide sweater. It just the way I mean, it would fit like a four-year-old. Probably would. Not the sleeves, though. So it would fit. Uh, It'll be a nice, like you said last time, like it's a, a coat. coat. It is. It's like, heavy. You could wear it over top of yeah anything because it's big. It's very heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's, that is that. Okay, and my third fo is I got my. Totally tulips quilt. The, just the top done. I got the top done. Yeah, it's not quilted yet. And it's just all scrappy fabric that I had in my stash. And the border, you can see it over there a little bit, the yellow border. My friend, Connie, um, gave it to me and I had already cut out. And she's, I think that'll look really good on that quilt because it's little tulips. And it's fabric I had given her because <laughs> we swapped. Yeah. Swap fabric, and so I use that on the sides, and it's it's a scrappy quilt, but mm -hmm. it turned out fine. Now okay. I think I will uh, quilt it with a fleece backing. Oh yeah, make it like a real comfortable. Yeah, I just I like yeah. quilting with the fleece because mm -hmm. it quilts so pretty. But it's totally tulips by 
Missouri Star Quilt Company. Yeah, I guess it is just them. And I, it is 71 and a half by 65. I made uh, five, five blocks across and three blocks down because they're big, long blocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three blocks so, down, you did. Oh, yeah. Because Only three, yeah. Well, they're, wow. they're real long, skinny yeah. blocks. Yeah. Wow. But it's still, I mean, if I'd have made that the size of that, that would have been a humongous quilt. Yeah. That's cool. So it's a really good couch throw mm -hmm. for springtime. Springtime. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's still spring, my sister in law told me. I guess. <laughs> a couple of days. A couple more days. Yeah, whatever. All right, is that all your FOs? That's all my FOs. Okay. Well, my um, first FO, I had these socks started last time. These are just my scrappy little shorty socks that I made. So I um, used. Um, the gray is leftover yarn from my Obata socks. It's Alice or uh, Wonderland Yarns, um, Marianne Base, uh, Stephanie. Stephanie, yeah. And then the pink is Lumberjack Yarns, and I think it's called like Bubblegum or Bubblegum Splash or something like that. And so it was all scrap, so I had to be like aware of how much I had. So I ended up putting these stripes in there because I, I didn't think I was going to have enough gray, which I wouldn't have. So but I like the stripes, mm -hmm. and they look really cute on my feet. Yeah. If I um, they bring your feet in right there, they make them look thinner. Yeah, like it, it gives the illusion. It doesn't really. Matter. I know. Yeah, but it, I like that. But if I can think of it, um, I was wearing them with my Birkenstocks, like I talked about last time. I'll put the picture in. I thought it looked cute. <laughs> anyway, so I, I ended up having enough yarn, and I didn't. Um, last time I talked about like stopping where I was and starting the next sock, and, and like you know making sure I had enough. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I just I just winged it, and it worked out. I only so had a tiny little yarn chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I only had like a tiny little ball, like this big left of gray. And I had quite a bit of pink left. Okay. So I could, um, I have enough pink left that I, if I wanted to use them, use it again for like a heel and a toe or something in a sock, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really like them. And yeah, I've been wearing like them, them and wearing them. They're Cute. really comfortable and, and soft and nice Me for too. summer. So I can't put those into the, the crazy sock lady summer sock camp because I started them too soon. Oh. But okay. the next, my next socks, I can. I'm going to. Put a couple things in for that because I'm really into knitting socks right now. They're just lightweight and fun and quick and easy. <laughs> so, okay, my second FO is a little baby sweater that I already gave away, so I can't show it in person, but I have a picture of it and I'll put it here. Um, it's the um, original anchor sweater by Petite Knit. So, the original one was, was written for kids. Oh, it was? Yeah. Hmm. So, I um, made the six to nine month size. And this is the yarn that I use. This was left over from a sweater I knitted last fall. Swish DK Rose Heather. Very soft, nice, super wash wool. And um, I actually washed it and um, laid it, I blocked it, and then I dried it just for like 10 minutes to get the like Damn remaining yourself. dampness out of it because I blocked it like the night before I gave it away. And it, it looked good. So hopefully, hopefully she doesn't wash it enough times that it like pills it up. I mean, I doubt she will. I was worried about that with a super wash wool with a baby, like it would get pilly, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but Definitely I doubt you're going to wear it. I was going to say, I doubt she's going to wear it that often, you know, just be something special. Yeah. And I bought her a little pair of jeggings that went with it. Oh, cute. Same size. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it turned out really nice. I really was proud of it. So those are my only FOs. Oh. I didn't get a lot like finished this time because I was working on my Jenny jacket. Ooh. Yeah. I haven't worked on my blanket at all. I'm kind of off of it again. You kind of have to take a rest from that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have to take a rest. So if I go to the knit night thing again, I'll be real behind. Because <laughs> I'm sure they're all like about done by now. Because we were all kind of at the same place and I haven't went in like a month. You could go one more time and not go anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was fun to go and they don't care where you're at on it. Yeah. But I feel like they're going to finish up the, unless they still do a knit night, they're just not working on that blanket. Yeah. But I feel like they're going to kind of finish up their, wrap up their like, because they're probably so not going to knit night. They're not doing three or four things at once, probably. They might just be doing the blanket. I mean, they, I, I don't know, but I definitely, I feel like I'm going to be behind as I've not worked on it at all. <laughs> they just have to take breaks with stuff like that. It's so yeah. big. It's so huge. Yeah. I mean, I like it, but yeah, it's it's like cumbersome. And I just want to knit socks right now. It's a lot really want to knit. <laughs> Someone was saying that that socks is a really good summer thing because if they're lightweight. Crazy can, sock lady. That's, that's why she works. does the sock camp thing. Mm -hmm. And then you can just pick up this little bag with your sock in it mm -hmm. and take it anywhere. Yeah, that was her. It's not on your legs. And Remember, I was like, hot. I want to know what the sock camp thing is all about when we watched that podcast together. Yeah, she okay. was talking about that. So that's that like her. last summer I was knitting blankets. 
mm. and you'd pick up a, a big old heavy blanket and it's all over you and it's hot. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm I have an eyelash that's like floating. Uh-oh. I can see it like, maybe it's a hair. <laughs> so sorry if you see me like <laughs> twitching my eye. <laughs> so, all right. That's Whips. it for FOs. Whips. Whips it is. Whip it Let me go. Sure. What you got? Okay. I have got this far. So on... funny. It's like you just finished one of those. I know. I just finished one. I've got this far on my... Um, throw over. Yeah. Throw over by Andrea. Miller. For me. This is Mallory again. And I think... Feel it. I think it's going to be stretchy in the yoke this time. Yeah. So you went up a needle size and, and you're trying to be careful, right? Yeah. And you went up, didn't you go up a needle size on the neck too? I used the, the yeah, the size that the body's supposed to be, I, I did the neck with. Cool. Yeah. And yeah, then, hopefully it won't then went up another me. needle with that. Yeah, hopefully it won't choke me. So anyway, I've got that far on that, so yeah. Pretty. And that's the, what's the yarn? Barocco. Oh yeah, Barocco. Vintage. Mm-hmm. DK. And I don't remember all the names, so we'll have to put those in the description. It's navy though. I don't know if they can tell from the, but it's navy. With the white, pink, and gray. You did have the white, pink, and gray memorized. It's like snow and ballerina pink and smoky or something like that. Something yeah. like that. Anyway. Yeah. Yep. So that. Okay. That's all that's in there. Okay. I, since she What is in there? <laughs> oh, the yarn bowl. The yarn bowl. So she's been working on her jean jacket. I thought, you know what? I need to get mine out. So let's not get butter Since, on. yeah, that's a good idea. Since the last podcast, um, I knitted that much. And that's just been the last three days, actually. Did, free. did you show it on the last podcast? Hmm. Hmm. No, but I showed it one time hmm. when I was working on it, however many times that's been. But I picked it up this time, and that's how much I've done this time. But that's only three days. I've only been working on it like three days. So. Hey, how many days have you been working on it? <laughs> I know. All right. <laughs> Was it well, three? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I repeat. <laughs> Pete and repeat. Anyway, the long rows. I know, but it's it, fun. It's, it's real heavy yarn. It cut my my thumb hurts anyway. Whoops! <laughs> she spilled the water <laughs> all over my lap. <laughs> my thumb hurts anyway. I've got that. Whatever it is, people have when they knit. Mm -hmm. And it, mommy thumb, it, yeah, it kind of makes it hurt. Yeah. So, do I need to show the Jenny jacket picture? If you want to? I'm gonna talk about the yarn too. Oh yeah, I put that one on the back. It's, it's this. Yeah. So pretty. So it's the smocking. Show the front one too. Yeah, and I've got Celtic like buttons. Yeah. We both got Celtic buttons for yeah. you. Put on it. So we are both using um, Fleece and Harmonies. Mm -hmm. Uh, Selkirk Worsted. Mm -hmm. Hers is Blue Poppy. Mm -hmm. And I'll show mine here in a minute, but I forget what mine's called. Well, you Autumn, Birch. Have... Autumn Birch. Autumn mm -hmm. Birch. But it's the Fleece and Harmony, and we've talked about them a million times, but they're a, a sheep farm up in Canada, Prince Edward Island, Canada. And they do their own, um, they make all their own wool, and they spin it and dye it all there. It's really cool. And they have a podcast as well, if you want to check it out. And this yarn makes me want to knit. I feel, it feels very... Like authentic, you know, like uh -huh. it does. It, it's rusty. I just feel like I'm like, oh, this is like real wool. This is like you feel like real some, yarn. Some little you know? lady spun this somewhere. Yeah, and it's. I mean, it hasn't been like super wash, like treated. No. And sometimes there's little bits of like vegetable matter in it. What yeah. they call it, like mm -hmm. little hay and grass pieces. Yeah. I'm like, this is straight off the farm. <laughs> yeah. I just like that. I think that's so cool. I'll probably. It's expensive, but it's not as expensive, honestly, as buying, like, um, Brooklyn Tweed. I seriously think, well, Brooklyn Tweed's the same thing. They have their own stuff, don't they? They grow, well, their, own, they grow their own sheep, but they send it here and they send it there to get it. Made do they, they have their own? I thought they got their wool. I was thinking they had their own sheep, but they sent the wool somewhere to get to it, it spun and spun, die. die. Yeah, one place there is a, and one place yeah, does something else. So there is a logistic expensive. type thing going on there. Mm -hmm. But Fleece and Harmony does it all. Yeah. So I feel like they can probably make it a little cheaper. And honestly, like, it's expensive, but it's not any more expensive than buying, if you bought hand-dyed yarn on, you know, Etsy, a sweater's quantity for anybody else. Oh, no, else. it's not any more expensive than that. Yeah. It's, it's, I really like, I just feel like I'll always have a Fleece and Harmony 
project going. If you want to Because as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to want to start something else. Because I, I just, I like having that. And it gives you that lanolin on your hands. It's not. I just like it. It's not wool you would buy to make a real thin, nice little tee. No, or anything for a kid or anything. Because it's, it's wool. Well, it's, I mean, a kid, if you did, it'd be a coat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, um, what are they, you, what's the word? Like, um, rustic or like toothy. Yeah, too like if you drop a stitch, going. it's not gonna fall. It's not going anywhere. Not unless you like pull on it. It's just gonna sit there. Yeah, because I've dropped a couple stitches. I have too. Yeah, yeah, especially and with this. Like, oh, well, let me just get that with this quick. pattern because you have to pull that loop over and put it on the, the thing. Smock thing. I've dropped it a couple times and I had to go back. Mm -hmm. and it's just it just there. sits there. Yeah. <laughs> and my other, and my can't talk good enough about it. I yeah, it's on. really nice. Yeah, go ahead. And it, they're fun podcasts too. She does a good job. Yeah. Okay, and then my next one. I showed this yarn last time, and I'm making the, um, I can't read it backwards. Chic, chic, chevron, chevron throw. throw. Looks like it's a red heart or a yarn inspiration. Yarn Sorry. Inspiration. So there's my three colors. I've just got oh. one row of the white on there. But they're tweedy. That's really pretty. Well, the navy's not tweedy, so but it's the like other a, two are tweedy. A navy, then like a denim, uh -huh. and then like a tweed. Ivory kind of color. Ivory, yeah, with black and brown little tweed speckles. Mm -hmm. Yep. That so is going to be really, really pretty. I really... You're making me want to crochet a blanket again. And it's a lot faster than your blanket. Yeah. You could make, yeah, either this... Really, I've never done a chevron or a, um, a ripple, and I want to. Because they're really the, fast. The ripple goes faster than the chevron for some reason. Yeah. It's just easier. Well, There's no brainer to this. I was going to say, you probably have to do more. There are there, there are To get that really mm -hmm. steep ridge, you probably have to do more stitches in the Yeah. Center. But they're both simple. Yeah. So that's cool. that and my, um, I did do a few uh, rows on my sock I showed last time. <laughs> a few I'm going to make it a shorty, so I only made the cuff like. 10 rows or something. Like, kind of like yours. Yeah. And then I'm on the little strip in between that and the heel. So okay. that's one, but that's ten all. Row. I would just do 10 rows is what I do. Okay. It's well. plenty. So, so that's what I'm doing. show that next time. Yeah, we'll show that next time. And my pink cotton sweater. I haven't worked on it for a while, so that's okay. it. All right. Well, I'll show my whips then. Okay. Just a second. Okay. So my first whip, um, like I said, is my Jenny jacket. I'm working on it. So I showed this already. So this is the body of mine. And I've got the sleeves, um, like, tied off, how the pattern says. Hmm. So it's kind of a short little jacket. But that's the body of mine. I have, I mean, I had this done a while. So I just wanted to refresh you on that one. But since we podcasted last, I have cast on and finished one sleeve. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's really nice. And it's got a really long, um, four inch long cuff. Wow. Are you supposed to roll it up or it's just long? No, it's just long. So this is oh. going to come like to my underarm right here. And then I think when I block it, I can make it a little bit longer. Mm. Is this what the pattern said to do right here? Yeah. Because that'll probably fit me. Yeah. But I think when I block it, I can I can stretch it. I mean, it's only, what, like an inch that I'm mm -hmm. a little bit short. Plus, mm -hmm. I don't know how. Like, once it gets all put together, it might, I don't know. It, it might, might be, be better. that short. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but it feels really good and, like, it fits my arm really well. And I like how she designed the increase. Because you start at the bottom and work up. And I like how she incorporated the increases into the smocking. I think it looks really good. When I was working on it, I kept thinking, man, that seems, see. Oh. see how it like, it starts a new smock every now and again. It like kind of like blooms. Blooms out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And when I was doing it, when I was knitting it, I was, I kept thinking like, why would she have me purling right now? Like, that it? seems like it should be a knit stitch. But then when I got it all done, I, wow. it all like came together. Yeah. That's good. And the only thing that I did that the pattern didn't say to do was I joined, so the pattern did not have you, um, do the little smock crossover thing on the on these two things. See how like it, it comes up? These two knit knit two columns come up. Hmm. The pattern didn't tell you to smock that together. But I thought it needed to. Because it would have just been ridges. Yeah. It would have just been two lines coming up. So hopefully that wasn't something that she messes it up later. <laughs> yeah. I don't see how it would, but anyway. Well it's under your arm anyway. Yeah. So anyway I I, I did do that. Oh, I see that right there. Mm -hmm. She just had lines. Mm -hmm. Well, these are just lines. I know, but I just thought it looked like it needed to. That wouldn't matter either. Anyway, way. so. That's nice. I've got my second one. I've got the cuff done, and I've got my first smock row done. I had to actually, I had this all done the night before last, 
and then I held my this cuff up and I thought I counted rows. I thought I had the exact amount of rows as I had my first one. It was like 29 rows or something. And somehow that one has 29 rows and this one has 32 and they're the same length. So I'm like, did I forget to go down the needle size on the first one? But it looks the same. This like, one's longer. No, it's... <sighs> yeah, it is. See right there? Well, sure. It won't matter. But see that right there and that right there? I even ripped it out because I thought it was two rows too short. It won't show. <sighs> it won't show when the ones over here. But like when you lay them side by side, they don't look like that. No, it's not. It's not. But I think when you lay them like... On Whatever, that first sleeve was a little short anyway. So this one, <laughs> this one maybe will fit me a little... It's barely, so it's not going to matter. Anyway, so I probably would have had like this much done if, had to if I hadn't ripped it back, but oh well, I did. I'm not ripping it out again, so. No. Anyway, but this is the Fleece and Harmony yarn again. Um, I am using Autumn Birch, which is like probably my favorite color that she has. Evidently, she always picks out that color. Oh, well, I do like that color in general, but I really like this company's version of it. Mm -hmm. Very much, very much. Butter, butternut or butter. See, it's the same color as that, what I showed one other time I wanted to make that one sweater. Gloss, that gloss decay. Mm -hmm. it's, I picked that out, remember you were gonna give it to me. It's a very, almost the same color. <laughs> so, okay, my other whip is another sock. So, um, this is another K. Jones pattern. So, K. Jones from the Bakery Bears. I made two Obata socks and I've showed them the last couple times. So, this is a, um, a different pattern of hers called, oh, you can really see it on that. I like, I like that. Cool how that heel. Oh, well, it's not like that on the other side. Oh, it's not like that on the other side. It's because I didn't mess with doing it. I didn't want to do an afterthought heel. I thought, oh, well, whatever. It mm -hmm. kind of stripes, see? Oh, I like But it's side. not necessarily like self-striping, so I didn't really. The, the texture of the sock would be a lot easier to see if it was not a variegated type striping yarn. But I, I still think it looks pretty. I think it looks pretty. Yeah, I like a textured sock, and they're soft. And... Mm -hmm. So this sock... It's called Crunkled. Mm, it looks like Crunkled. Crunkled Socks by Kay Jones. And you can buy this sock pattern on Ravelry. Okay. You can't buy the Obata, but you can buy this one. And um, I really am enjoying it. Um, I started this sock before I really knew what sock pattern I was going to do. And I really like the half-twisted rib cuff. So this sock pattern does not call for that, but I did that because I didn't even know I was going to make the Crunkled Sock when I cast it on. So you went ahead and started. So I just went ahead and kept it like that. But yeah. I'm really enjoying it, and um, I'm almost to the toe. I have, like, maybe, like, three-quarters of an inch left, and then I'll put the toe on. And she calls for the umbrella toe, which is what she uses in the Obata sock, and I really like that. So I'm going to I'm gonna Must be that. one she likes. Mm hmm So this is, um, shoot, do I have the little, this is yarn that I bought, yeah, in um, Saginaw, Michigan, when I went to see my sister. We went to this little yarn store, and, um, it's called Ice Melons Stash. That's the yarn company. And it's hand dyed in Lansing, Michigan. And this uh, particular colorway is called Foxy Lady. And it's on her Oculus sock base. It's got stripes of, it's hard to see. It, to me, when I just look at it, it looks like pink and brown, but it's got that orange, orange. coral. So it's got like a coral so orange. Like that's where the foxy comes uh -huh. in. <laughs> and then the lady part is the pink. And the brown is, you know, fox, whatever. But um, it reminds me of Rainbow Sherbert. Mm -hmm. Or, no, no, that's not what I'm thinking of. The ice cream, the Neapolitan. Oh, well, maybe. It reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream for some reason. Because you got the pink, the chocolate, and the, <laughs> and the, vanilla. And the vanilla. Yeah. But mm -hmm. anyway, and it's in my new bag that I talked about last week. Or last podcast, I mean. So, yep, that's my first one. And I will be entering these into the sock camp thing with crazy sock lady because I did I just started these what a week ago mm -hmm. maybe yeah, maybe so I think I can I, think I, I wish qualify. I enjoyed socks as much as you but well you know to each their own yeah I didn't think I would I've been sewing some too so yeah I here's, think your, I would here's your little enjoy socks but I am enjoying them a lot so yeah that's my only whips right now so I guess we're ready for acquisitions okay. I'm kind of been well I, I really worked on that baby sweater I knitted that baby sweater in like six days or something so that, but I focused mm -hmm. focused on it to and then my ready. Jenny jacket sleeve I've been working hard on that so I've been sewing I've got a, a shirt I'm making and I got it all together basted sides up because I don't in swatching like in knitting you swatch one in sewing you should measure <laughs> and it was too little 
Mm. So I ripped the sides out to here and I inserted a triangle to make it look like those mm -hmm. type of shirts. And it does fit now, but I've got to, I still have to put the sleeves in. So maybe next time I'll have that top finished and something else made because I've kind of been in the sewing mood. Mm -hmm. So I've got lots of ideas to sew. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're ready for acquisitions then. What do you got? Just what about you? Yeah. You tell, okay. tell her about it. Tell okay, about so there's a, um, a yarn, a knitting, no, spinning and fibers guild, I think is what it's called, something like that. Um, local to us and they opened a little store in our mall and um, they're only open on the weekends and I actually made it in there finally. I've been trying to make it in there for like since they opened basically and um, they sell they sell new hand dyed yarn and they sell like those cone things you can like I don't know they sell all kinds of stuff. They sell like raw like uh, not raw wool but not spun. I don't know. Unspun. <laughs> You mean just like wool? big fluffy like bags of like of wool of wool so, so that people that want to spin yourself. it can spin it they sell mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff but they also if you're a member of the guild you can bring in like your stash yarn that you're not going to use and sell it there like resell oh. it so this was someone else's um stash yarn that's a good idea and then they reason. resold it and it was cheaper than buying like you know mm -hmm. but it hasn't been i mean it's not been used mm -mm. It hasn't even been taken out of the the hank so JF's Folly. I have no idea things. anything about it. I just thought it was pretty. And it was it's like... sock yarn. That's all It says know. it was originally $27. Well, I didn't pay that. I paid like 16 or something for it. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. They probably bought it for 10 Well, it says eight. 27 No, but they bought it from somebody. No, they are selling it. Like, whoever, whoever sold this is part of the guild. Oh. Like, you can... Like, if we join the guild, we could take our stash in there and, and sell it in there, too. But, I mean, yeah... So but you have to pay a fee to be in the guild. You got to pay a, like a membership. But fee. this is what this person paid for it originally. Yes. So then she had to sell it to the store. No, that's what I'm saying. No. Cheaper. She didn't sell it to the store. She's a member of the guild. Oh, so the money just goes to the guild. No, she gets. Uh, it's okay. That's okay. Whoosh, right over your head. <laughs> okay. It's Saint Elias. The collar is JF's Folly, and it's a hand dyed sock yarn. I wonder if it has a year on it or anything. It's from San Pedro, California. I don't know. I bet through the years, a lot of yarn places have come and went. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. It's just like a variegated purple to make a really nice mm -hmm. sock. It's got blue-faced... Leicester? Leicester? Leicester. It's Leicester, isn't it? Oh, Leicester. I think I have heard it pronounced like that. You're right. It's like blue face Lester or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then nylon. So, yeah, nice. That'd be nice. It is not super wash, so don't push it. Don't, don't put this in the... Uh, <laughs> wash and dry it. It says hand wash only on it somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think I saw that. Well, yeah, if it's not super wash. Pagewood Farm. Cool. Anyway, so that was cool. Like, they had a whole rack of... of uh, yarns that people have had in their stash and wanted to get, you know, wanted to resell or whatever. So I got her that. And then mine, mine was the same deal. It was on that same rack. Is Yarn Painter. I think mine was the same deal. Maybe I didn't get this. I thought I did. Well, this is... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I can't remember. I thought we, I thought I bought them both off there, but... Um, yarn Painter, and she's, she's Bloomington, so maybe I did buy this new. I don't remember now. It's been a couple weeks ago. But isn't that pretty? Well, somebody in Bloomington dyes it. Yeah. So the, so the guild is in Bloomington, and this woman is from Bloomington. So it's local. And this is called, this is on her comfy sock merino uh, base. And it's extra fine merino and cashmere and nylon. It's very soft. Blue paradise. It's called Blue Paradise. Isn't that pretty? It's very got purple pretty. in it. So I've got this yarn that has purple. And I've got that, um, I showed it a couple podcast back but um I, I bought a white yarn with purple specs mm -hmm. and then yeah those witch collar socks i said i was gonna make witch socks for halloween she must like purple. i might not do that and i might steal that mini skein that mini purple skein and use it for toes and and heels on this sock and on the white sock with purple specs because it's got that purple in it just a little bit of purple i know but i think it would i think it would be pretty with a purple out. heel yeah i might not but i might i see a navy heel I don't have any navy though. 
There's that's actually not. Well, here's purple with that. That's not the right color. Purple. Not the right color. Purple. Um, that's not navy, mom. Well, I guess there is specs. I think there's specs. There's as much dark in there as there is purple. Or I might just knit it as is and call it a day. I don't know, but it's really pretty. It's pretty. And I'm excited about it. Yeah. So that'll probably be after I finish this crunkled sock, I'll probably make a sock out of this. And it might be crunkled again. Or it might be Obata again. I really, I'm liking the textured sock. I like the way it fits on my foot. And I like the way mm. that it gives you something to like look forward to when you're knitting instead of just knitting yeah. vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. So anyway. So I bought those for me, and then for my birthday, which was a couple weeks ago, Mom got me. Oh, you haven't showed these, have you? Uh-uh. Was that for my birthday, too? Mm-hmm. Okay. You got me two things of yarn? Well, this was after I had already got that. Oh, okay. So, so for my birthday, you got both. Mom got me more Fleece and Harmony yarn, and this is the self-care corset again. This is purple cone flower is the color. It's beautiful. This is the one that every time we watch their podcast, she <laughs> says, you know that yarn that's right there behind her? It'd be her right shoulder. I don't know which shoulder. It'd be her right shoulder, yeah. So I just, <laughs> I love that stuff. I always like look at it when I'm watching. So I try and went back a few, <laughs> a few podcasts to see what purple that was. Yes, I love it. It's so pretty. It's like mm. a dark, like grape purple. Yeah, it is like a dark purple. And then this is the same base, and this is called Pansies. And it's got little flecks of dark purple in it and yellow and like a cream color. So this will be like for the color work part. So I've picked out a pattern, um, but I can't remember what I, what, what's called. So Jennifer Stein, is it Stein is it Gas or Stein one? Glass? That swoopy one? Yeah, if I can remember too, I'll, I'll put a picture of it on here. They were putting these two colors together on, on their podcast. Mm -hmm. That's what brought to my attention. Yeah. So I think it's a, I think it's Jennifer Stein ga gas, or maybe it's glass. The one that looks like feathers and it's going this way. Yeah, but I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, yeah, it's got a, it doesn't really even have a neckline. It's just got a cast on edge. And then it's got these like arrow feather things that kind of swoop to the side. And that's the yoke. I just really watched pretty. a new uh, podcast the other day. Oh, was yesterday. Anyway, she's from the Netherlands and it was her first English podcast. And the podcast is called It's a Sarah. That's the name of it. And she had made, I think it's that same sweater you're talking about. So you mm. can look and see what it looks like on that podcast. Pretty. Yeah. So I'm excited about my fleece and harmony yarn. And then my mom also got me for my birthday some Rebel Pearl sock yarn from our local store in Wilmington. So this is called T.O.K. Special. And it's on her Spark of Madness uh, base, which has got Stellina in it. That so would definitely be pretty with a heel purple. <laughs> yeah, but it's more of a dusty purple. It's not the right color purple either. So we'll see how, I don't know how that's going to knit. Is it going to be striping or like, you know what I mean? I don't know. No clue. So, but it's very soft. Mm. It's got the. It's, it's got superwash merino and nylon and it's got that Stellina. Okay. Yeah, the glitter in it. Nice. So that's fun. And yeah, her, uh, yeah, it's two ply. I was going to say her sock yarn has like a spun. You can see like the, how the plies are just spun together like that. It's, I've never, I don't think I've ever knit with any of my other yarns are like that. They're all four ply, so. That'll be interesting. I don't think I've never You'd think that. it would stay together better being twisted. It might be that. sturdier. I don't yeah, know. I don't we'll know. see. Anyway, I don't know much about how plies like affect. I don't either. But I mean, like, in this. Um, the Fleece and Harmony doesn't have very much ply. Uh -uh. It's like two or three or something, isn't it? Where is it? You got one? Yeah, it's just a two ply. Yeah, it's just a two ply. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. thick. And then um, at that yarn store, mm -hmm. since I purchased yarn, I got to pick a bag off the bag wall. It's just people, I think, getting rid of bags. Oh, yeah. So this is like a Cascade Yarns bag. It's huge, though. And I got it for free. Someone has purchased a huge amount of yarn. So I can store yarn. Like, I store a lot of yarn in my closet. So um, I can store yarn in there, and I can actually see what's inside the bag. And it could even go under a bed. It's yeah, all it's, yeah, it's nice. Or heck, I could even store blankets in it and put it under the bed. You could, yeah. It's a nice bag. So that was kind of cool. Got that for free. And then my mom also got me this for my birthday. Okay, nothing in there. So another project bag. It's got little sheep on it and little balls of yarn. And I love the red, white, and black. That was my school colors when I was yeah. growing up. And who's it by? Who's it by? Who's it by? There's a tag know. somewhere. It's Etsy. Yeah, I know. But is it inside maybe? Yeah. It is MLD Threads. It's an Etsy shop. Yeah. So it's polka dot on the inside. It's got a zipper on the inside and um, it's just a nice big bag. 
Pretty good size. It wouldn't hold like an adult sweater, but I could keep a kid's sweater in that. Speaking of, I've got yarn coming. I'm going to oh, start my next. Uh -huh. I'm going to start my next uh, um, nephew sweater for Christmas. So I um, ordered like a burgundy tweed. So I'm hoping oh, it's yeah. a, a reddish burgundy and not a purple because it's for a boy. And then we'll just, yeah. Do you have another girl to do if you have to? You can yeah, use it for I could. Girl. Yeah, I guess I could. But mm -hmm. I didn't. that's not really what I had in mind for her. So we'll just see. I might have to return it and exchange it. But it looked brick red on the website. So we'll see how it actually looks. Burgundy is really, is that what you said, burgundy? Mm-hmm. That's tricky because sometimes it looks yeah. red and sometimes it looks brown. I mean, like my husband has a burgundy store-bought sweater and it's yeah. burgundy, but it's like a man's burgundy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not cranberry. Yeah. It's brick red. But so. I have, yeah, I've bought stuff. It mm -hmm. looks like a girl. Yeah, so we'll just see what it looks like because it's, it's tweed too, so it's got black and brown specks in it. That might help too. Yeah. But anyway, I haven't got it yet, but hopefully I'll have that per at least here and so maybe even started by next month. Yeah, I bet you will. You may have a half done on you. you. Never know about me. If I get going on it. I'm knitting the, I think it's called the Henry sweater. It's really pretty. It's got like a cable. Um, it's knitting pieces and it's got like a cable all in the front and it's got a Henley. Like, it's pretty. Thing right here. Yeah, it's a really nice sweater. So, all right. Oh, mom got me this little guy. She just gave it to me a few minutes ago. <laughs> Joanne, that'll Bro. be nice for my. Since I have two sock bags now, I can keep. I think she got me one because I have one of those, and I keep all my stitch probably markers. for like stocking stuffers or something. I got for you. Maybe. Yeah, I bet yeah. it was with my stocking stuffers. Oh. And then um, my sister. So the yarn bowl that mom showed last time, the multicolored one. If you're watching, I didn't bring it with me. Do you have it? Yeah. So um, my sister got me the same one for my birthday. And it was funny because I was telling mom how I, sometimes I wish I had two of them. Well, so now I do. Her sister asked me, what, what can she get? And I said, well, <laughs> you remember the yarn bowl you got me? <laughs> she said she'd like to have one because she'd like to have two. Yeah. With, you know, different projects. So, so I forgot to bring it. holds pretty much after you get them going, it'll hold three. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I got one of those too. I, I did not bring it with me, unfortunately. But it's just like but that. But it's just like that. So, okay. Well, well, I think that's all for us today. Oh, we, we have a snack oh, today. We've been eating on our banana bread. <laughs> we always call them our crumpets. Any, any like little cookie or chocolate or <laughs> baked item, we call we, it a crumpet. We don't have tea and crumpets. We don't have hot tea today because we just had coffee that we used yeah. to have tea and crumpets. Yeah, but I had, you crumpets. know, two leftover bananas. Banana bread. Banana bread. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah, I used to save them, but... <laughs> I used to peel my bananas and put them in the freezer, and then I did smoothies. Shake, yeah, smoothies. But then I got off of that, so now banana goes bad. I don't always get it done either, but I did today. And in fact, I only had two bananas. I should have had three, so I had leftover baby food. <laughs> baby, uh, I think it was pears and pineapple. It was I needed a half a cup of hey, more banana? I thought, well, that that'll be the moisture effect. So yeah, I put that in with uh, the bananas. That's funny. It tastes maybe, good. Maybe maybe it made it not so. Bananas, you know, it tastes good. an old banana bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but that's all. I don't think we have anything <laughs> exciting else to say. No. I mean, we have a knitting, so. And sewing. It's, all, it's, it's summertime, so it's a little bit different. Got to mow grass and mulch and pull weeds and yeah. do all that fun stuff. So garden, I got my garden sewed since last time. Ooh. Didn't I? I mean, I don't think I talked about it last uh -uh. time. Yeah. I've got beans up. I've got a little thing of peas. I've got beets. Radishes. My lettuce is not coming up very good. So my uh, oldest daughter, Laura, gave me some onion um, bulb set things. I think they make big onions. So mm -hmm. if the lettuce doesn't come up, I'm going to put them in there. And if the lettuce does come up, I'm going to put them in there. So I'll have those big onions. And, um, big. So long, regardless of the if the lettuce flowers. comes up or not. Yeah, it's going in. in, yeah. Tell what else you... Um, you got a big acquisition. It's not. Oh, yarn. I do have a big acquisition <laughs> just this week. I got a almost new, it's used Honda Pilot. Mm -hmm. Excited just about like it. Just like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's not white. I, mm -mm. I, I would have liked a white one, but their white one was sold and I didn't want to have one just like now. She might not like that. So I wouldn't have cared. I know you wouldn't care. But anyway, <laughs> it's silver like the same car I traded, but no, it's not. It's a, it's a little different silver. It's a blue silver. Yeah. I sound like you. It's yeah, you do. It's a blue silver. <laughs> it's a silver blue. <laughs> but anyway, it's I cool. like the color, and it really, that color doesn't show dirt. No, it's nice. White doesn't either. And she's got black wheels. 
Yeah, I didn't know if they would be okay or not. And I says, oh, they're in. Yeah. I said, well, good. I like them then. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're cool. I want to look hip. Yeah. It's a really nice car. Um, yeah, it's I, like, oh, new car. I was like, nope, curb it. Oh, and I'm pretty bad. You're a bad curbing. curber. Yeah. Yeah, I just curbed mine. Mine has, it's, they're not black wheels, but they're nice wheels. And they're like real close to the edge of the tire. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've never had to deal with that before. I think I have some kind of insurance on that. Well, you should. I think I do. Because I, I was pulling out of the, so I have this car wash I always go to and it's got three lanes. Oh. I always go to the first lane because you, when you get to the first lane, when you pull out, you have a wide area <laughs> to get away from all the curbs, you okay. know? Okay. So then the middle lane is okay, but you're closer to the edge. But then the first lane, you're right by the curb. So when you go to turn out of there, you got to like curb it, watch it. So unfortunately there was cars in the first two and I was like, well, so I went through that first one. Pulled out of there, curbed it bad. It's it's like a bad curb. It like comes up too far. Mm. You don't have enough room to like mm. get away from like it before you have to turn. Have put that there. I know it needs to be like a foot shorter. Yeah. Anyway, I curbed it. I was like, oh, I could just. I knew it was bad. You know. So I drove across the street and got out and looked, and I had scratched my rim. Oh. My wheel. I was so mad at myself. Ooh. It's a big scratch too. Yikes. Well, so watch out. The two times out for curves because you have the same wheels as Neil Black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're very close to the edge of the tire. You don't have a lot of bump space on there. That's true. <laughs> so the last I've driven it two times since I got it, and uh, I'm going like 25, 30 on the county county roads. It's like I want to be so careful. And people mm -hmm. come up behind me. I'll pull over and go go around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being careful, <laughs> and they're thinking, oh, that old grandma. She's going. No, that old grandma got a new car. I'm, I'm just being careful for him, you know. <laughs> You'll get over that. I'll get over that, and I'll be going like 60, is one of my friends used to say. She's going like 60. <laughs> <laughs> you go about 60 down your driveway. You have a smoke plume behind you when you come down the driveway. Well, I haven't been now. I don't want to get it all dirty. <laughs> oh, I know, but you will. Sometimes I do that. I can't. I'm not any better. No, you go faster than I do. I'm sorry. Down my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was I mean, I go a fly down the driveway. I'm not a fast driver and like although I'm worse than I used to be. You're faster than me. I'm always late. Yeah, but I, yeah. I can't leave the house ever on time. So I'm always flying. I'm still not like I'm not like a crazy. The only time I'm flying driver. is if I'm mad. <laughs> oh gosh, that's not that's not I, good. I might fly a little bit more than I should. <laughs> Road rage. Yeah. Too bad myself. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, I'll put a picture of Mom's car in, or if I oh, haven't yeah. already. No, okay. Yeah, he's a pretty car. Yeah. All right, well, see you in three or four weeks. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.